All right, Alan, thanks. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey's mandatory evacuation order for tourists and visitors down to the beaches went into effect this morning. No residents staying in hotel, rental, homes, and condos. All those people were left scrambling to meet the deadline. NBC 15's Jaisha Patel picks up our story from Gulf Shores. What started off as a fun getaway for the Jones family was cut short by the news of Hurricane Delta heading toward the Gulf Coast. I was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer and my brother and sister-in-law rented a rented this, so we'd come down here for a week for a family vacation. Now all 13 family members are packing their bags and hitting the road again. It's disappointing. You know, we had plans to have a big cookout and everything else, but it's just disappointing, but it is like, it is what it is. You gotta be safe. You know, you can't take no chances. William started chemo three weeks ago, and this trip was meant to get their mind off things. Well, they told us that they can't cure it, they can't kill it, so we wanted one big family vacation. Packed up and ready to go. The Jones family is trying to make the best of a bad situation. They're now heading to the Smoky Mountains to continue their family trip. Uh, we just want a little family time. Making memories. Just a few miles down the road, Randy Evans and his family are going back to Tennessee. Well, we just got a notice last night we had to evacuate this morning. After Hurricane Sally, many condos along the beach were damaged. He says he got lucky their condo was perfectly fine, so they wanted to head to the beach to get away from the cool weather back home. You know, we thought we'd be all right. We figured, well, if just come one hurricane, it probably won't come another right in this area again this soon, so we thought we'd be safe doing it, but it didn't work out that way. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much luck here in Gulf Shores. He says this isn't the first time he's had to evacuate. It's the second time it's happened to us in two years. We had to evacuate on the count of Michael two years ago. He says he doesn't think they'll be coming back next fall. Jaisha Patel, NBC 15 News. No word yet on when the governor's order will be lifted. We, of course, will let you know just as soon as a date is released.